Hello, this is Brett Smith from Brett Smith's Geography Channel making a showcase video that I should have done a long time ago. <laughs> so uh, first off, let's answer the question of where have I been? Why have I not been uploading? You might be thinking I'll be gone for a long time, but no, I'm still here. It has nothing to do with the quarantine, it's just entirely coincidental. So, uh, here's the thing. Uh, both my LeapFrog Explorer globes are broken. Yeah. They both decided to break at the exact same time. So that means no recordings, no showcasings of them. I still have my quantum pad. That's still going strong. But, uh, as for those two, I was planning to record a few more things from them. And now I can't. And then I figured, hey, the IntelliGlobe's still working, so why don't we uh, do that? So, yeah, you finally get to hear what I sound like. If you, you never really got to hear that before, so that's pretty cool. Um, I did one video on this showcasing uh, LeapFrog musics. Or, not LeapFrog. <laughs> wow, I'm already messing up. Uh, local musics. And um, that, was, that was cool. People liked that. So, uh, yeah. I was also going to do anthems, but as I told Sam a long time ago, uh, they don't really sound that good, so I don't think I should be doing those. I'll give you an example up in a second. So this is kind of a review of this thing, uh, telling you what's it about, because a lot more people know about the LeapFrog stuff, so might as well show you what this is like. This is a wireless pen. I have it connected to a, uh, a speaker for your listening pleasure. It's actually kind of quiet if you have it without a speaker. So that's, eh. Yeah, that's kind of necessary if you want to hear it on a video. So let's turn it on and uh, hear my first complaint with this thing. The IntelliGlobe has over 15,000 facts in four languages and is totally interactive with downloadable updates. Simply touch the pen to the globe to explore, discover, and play games. Discover the world with a touch of the pen. Yeah, there's no skipping that. You have to hear that whole thing every single time you turn it on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So yeah, uh, you can touch... The globe, as it said. North America. It's pretty cool. It's obviously supposed to be a spiritual successor to the Leapfrog Explorer globe. Amazon rainforest. You get the, yeah, this is just on regular geography right now. Nile River. As you can see, I actually wrote on it like a dummy, trying to put the South Sudan border. Yeah, they didn't have it on the first model, but there was an update you can get from the Repogel. Is it Repogel or Repogel? Whatever it is, you can get it from their website and uh, actually updates it. So if we go down here to uh, countries and territories. Countries and territories. You can actually click on the actual countries. And I feel like they made South Sudan way too high up. It's supposed to be right where I drew this line here, but they have it all the way up here. South Sudan. Capital, uh, Juba. Yeah, it's obviously, it's a little weird. And you got Sudan. Capital, Khartoum. Sudan up here. They got some uh, weird butcherings of pronunciations. What's a good one? Oh yeah, Guinea-Bissau. Guinea Bissau, capital Bissau. Yeah, it's like they say Bissau for the country, but then they say Bissau for the capital. It doesn't make any sense. Um, I can't really think of any. I haven't played with this thing in a while. I know there were a couple bad pronunciations on this thing, but I can't think of them right now. So if we look back down here to the panel, we have quite a few options. We have population. Population. Let's see what they have for the United States. I think it was... Uh, 800. I think we have 827 million right now. I think that's what we're at. The United States, 307,210,000. Wow, I was way off. <laughs> eight. I said eight. 300. What's wrong with me? Um, let's see. Language spoken. You get to hear the main language spoken and a couple other ones. Let's see. Go to Israel. Israel. The languages spoken are Hebrew, Arabic, and English. Mm hmm So, um, yeah, pretty cool. Mm, Russia. Russia. The language spoken is Russian. Although, I'm pretty sure there's a lot more dialects over in, in the cries over in this region. I might be wrong. Well, let's see what else there is. There's government. National government. I love how vague they are with Russia. <laughs> Russia is a federation. Yeah, the United States is a federation. <laughs> a good number of these countries are a federation. You got Australia. Australia is a federal parliamentary democracy and a commonwealth realm. Yeah, so all the commonwealths, the British commonwealth countries, they're all commonwealth realms on this thing. Um, let's go to economics. I'm not sure what that is. Economics. Oh, you got a woman voice now. Um, let's go to Mexico. Mexico. The major industries are food and beverages, chemicals, 
iron and steel, petroleum, mining. Ah, okay, so that's what it is. The United States. The major industries are petroleum, steel, motor vehicles, aerospace, telecommunications. A lot of things. <laughs> Can, uh, no, we can't pick Hong Kong. That's not its own country. Yeah, it doesn't allow you to pick uh, non-countries in these categories. Greenland. Oh, The major industries are fish processing, mining, handicrafts, hides, shipbuilding. Of course, the one I picked uh, allows territories, of course. <laughs> um, I know I'm music. Music. They don't allow you to pick territories, though. Touch a country. Yeah, see. Uh, you, if you want to hear all the musics, uh, I already uploaded that. Go to my, uh video about that. I'll probably link it in this video. Mongolia National Anthem. Yeah, listen to how bad this sounds. <laughs> it just keeps stuttering. It sounds awful. Who thought this was good? Okay, that's enough of that. All right, well, here's there's a couple of them that are actually good. Myanmar, National Anthem. That sounds fine, but that's like one of the few examples. What is it called? I think, Till the End of the World. I think that's what it's called. See, there's no stuttering. Like, why couldn't you do that for all of them? <laughs> at a much faster tempo than the one on Leapfrog is. Oh, here's the United States. The United States National Anthem. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> ah, it's, just, it's aggravating to listen to. <laughs> the United Kingdom National Anthem. This was good. All right, anyway, um, let's go to life expectancy. I believe the highest life expectancy I found on here was, uh, uh, which one was it? Was it, uh, it was, uh, it was one of these European countries. I think Australia had a high one too. Australia, 82 years. Yeah, that's pretty big. Even though you hear a lot about Australia's, uh, uh heats and, uh, poisonous animals. Let's see, what else we got? States and territories. States and provinces. Oh, sorry, provinces. Why did I say territories? Texas. The capital is Austin. Virginia, where I live. Virginia. The capital is Richmond. Yep. Okay. Let's see, what else is on here? History. History. Well, this one's pretty cool. You get to hear three facts about any particular country you pick on. So that's more than what the uh, leapfrog stuff had. They didn't have any history, really. From 1921 until independence in 1991, Ukraine was part of the Soviet Union. That's, you know. Kazakhstan was conquered by Russia during the 1700s and became a Soviet republic in 1936. Obviously, all the post-Soviet countries i'm gonna have that Spain controlled a powerful colonial empire in the 16th and 17th centuries. The United Kingdom was the dominant world power of the 19th century, ruling an empire that covered one-fourth of the Earth's surface. And one of their biggest contributions was... After breaking away from Great Britain in 1776, the 13 American colonies were recognized as a new nation, the United States of America, following the Treaty of Paris in 1783. And... Although it maintains ties to the British monarchy, Canada has been self-governing since 1867. And, go down here, let's pick all the Anglosphere countries. When Europeans arrived in Australia in the 1600s, Aboriginal settlers from Southeast Asia had been living there for about 40,000 years. And pick the last one. The Polynesian Maori began settling in New Zealand in about A.D. 800. Anyway, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and pick a couple games before I end this. Continents. You have one minute to find the continent. This one's pretty Ready? easy. 
set, go. South America. Obviously, you get to... Africa. You get to tilt the globe a lot more than you could with the leapfrogs. Europe. Try oh, come again. on. I touched the Adriatic Sea. Asia. <laughs> right in the center. Antarctica. North America. That's the last one. Oh, wait, no. Australia. Yeah, that's the last one. They don't say Oceania. Your score. Seven. Good job. I wonder what happens when you pick Papua New Guinea. All right, anyway, we have uh, countries. Countries. You have one minute to find There's no places. levels like there are Ready, on the late frogs. set, go. Turkey. Turkey right here. Sweden. Sweden. Thailand. Right down here. Yemen. Right here. Ukraine. Right over here. Panama. Right there. I could be a lot faster if I didn't have... Oh, well, come on. It's pretty strict. Suriname. Sometimes it can be really strict. Mongolia. Right there. The United Kingdom. Right here. Oh, Try come on. The, the English... Kazakhstan. That's the English Channel. That would be... I think... Oh, what's that called? The Manx Sea? Your score. Ten. You're an expert. That's my dog in the background being rotten. Um... Yeah, there's a couple other interesting things on here. Let's see. Find locations and landmarks. This one's pretty hard. Locations and landmarks. You have one minute to find ten places. Ready, set, go. Orunja Cave. I have no idea where that is. Try again. It'll give you a hint. Orunja Cave. Look near Russia. Orunja Cave. It's near Russia. It's not in Russia. Uh, does that mean it's over... Over here? Optimus Cave? I see that in Ukraine. Uh, I'm already wasting a lot of time. You're on a, you're on a time limit, too. Uh, no, I have no idea. I can't see it. I gotta look Rico, that up. Rico Cave. Rico Rico Cave. That sounds like it's over here. Somewhere. It's got to be in Latin America. Uh, it's supposed to be down here. Try again. Rico Rico Cave. Look near Australia. Oh, really? What? Rico Rico. Uh, there it is. It's in New Zealand. Time and I already ran. Wow, one. Your score. One. Keep practicing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that again. That's pretty that's pretty fun. Locations and landmarks. You have one minute to find ten places. Ready, set, go. Himalayas. The Himalayas, I don't know where that is. Chauvet Cave. Nope. I'm not even gonna waste time on that one. <laughs> Chauvet Cave. Look in Europe. Chauvet. That sounds French, yep. Rastashan. Rosh. That sounded like Rosh Hashanah. Try again. I don't know. Rosh Hashanah. Look in Africa. Rosh Hashanah. That's a big continent to look for, too. It's not very specific. Rosh Hashanah. I bet it's on the screen right now and I can't see it. <laughs> Rosh. I don't know. I gotta look for it. No. Nullivore Plain. Oh my gosh. Try again. <laughs> Nullivore Plain. Look in Australia. Alright. I mean, that's probably the easiest continent to look for. There it is. Oh, come on. The Great Wall. Come on. Yeah, you, you see how... Gr Time's oh. up. Your score. <laughs> Two. Keep practicing. It's very, very strict. Anyway, yeah, I got a, a few minutes left, or like a less than a minute. Let's go ahead and see the different languages. Espanol. Asia. Asia. Países y territorios China, capital, Beijing, Rusia, capital, Moscú. Yeah, you got Français. French. L'Asie. Le Mont Stanovoy. You got German. Deutsch. Asian. Walchersee. Uh. Länder und Gebiete. Deutschland. Deutschland. Hauptstadt. Berlin. Anyway, there you go. Uh, video is about to end. Uh, there's the Inteleglobe. If you want to see more of this, uh, let me know. Uh, I'll see you. See you next time. Hopefully those uh, globes will work. Bye.